As you guys probably realized from the title, this isn't one of my usual uploads, I hope you will still enjoy it though, and don't worry, the upload schedule won't be affected by this video. One could say that God is a pretty big deal for most people, but despite not being part of any religion in particular, I wondered for quite some time why so many people decided to distance themselves from God, and my conclusion is, not to insult anyone, they just go with what sounds right. But before we get started, I still wish to warn you guys that this video will be a bit of a rant, so the structure will most likely be all over the place, and I will most likely repeat myself quite a few times in hopes of getting my point across, I hope you will take it in stride. Now, I'm not what I would call a smart person, I'm average, at best, but common sense goes a long way, and right now that sense is telling me to make one thing unmistakably clear, as some YouTube viewers have the attention span of a five-year-old. God's existence is impossible, I put it in the title and I mean it. As I understood it, everything that happens around us is triggered by an event that happened before it, and if we follow that chain of events back long enough we would ultimately end up at the start of everything, even if said event should by all means be impossible. Now, since that first event that started them all must have broken the laws somehow, as nothing came before it, we can say for certain that anything past it would be even more impossible, as such. God's existence is quite literally impossible. So, why do I still believe in him? It's honestly pretty simple, but since I'm not the best at making my thoughts understandable let's start with something everyone can understand, so here's a question for you, how many numbers can you divide by 10? The answer is pretty obvious, but I will count to 5 before I continue in case any of you need a moment, stop the video if you like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the answer is of course that the total number of numbers you can divide by 10 is infinite. There are of course other ways to answer, but facts don't care about how you word them. I hope we can all agree to that. Let's proceed. You're probably wondering where I'm going with this after all. So, we have an infinite amount of numbers, but that doesn't mean there isn't a bigger number. For example, if you divide all numbers by 2 and count them, then that number is logically even bigger. Simply put, there exists an even greater infinite that, despite being greater than the number of numbers you can divide by 10, doesn't affect its infinite nature. I would at this point like to apologize if the wording was a bit lacking, let's keep moving. So, I would imagine you're wondering what all of that has to do with my belief in the existence of God, the answer lies in the infinite part, remember, the first event that started it all is impossible, and it still happened, so in a sense the chances of it happening reached infinity. And since God is one step further down that path, the chance that he exists is even more so infinitely unlikely, but here it comes, if we know that the literally impossible happened at the start of everything, what does it matter that the chance of God's existence is infinitely unlikely? The answer I came to see in all this is, it actually doesn't matter what the chances are, the same way it doesn't matter that the number of numbers you can divide by 2 is greater than the number of numbers you can divide by 10, we crossed the point of infinity, or in this case, the point where probability becomes meaningless. At the end of the day it's of course your own decision to believe or not to believe in God, but the simple fact is that probability doesn't apply to the creator, the same way it doesn't apply to the first event that started it all. I for my part would simply implore you to embrace the reality of our universe even if it is maddening, for reality in my experience doesn't care much about our thoughts and feelings on how things are supposed to work. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, as short as it was, and I'm looking forward to your thoughts and questions in the comments section.